they did it. They locked us in. Outside, death came to life, and the living were almost dead. The continuing scrolls of progress march upon the world at a frantic pace. It is their world now, since they took it from us. Those elites are craving for profit, and they crushed all resistance. The master state is watching over the population and securing public and private spaces through its violent military force named the Caring One. They use fear as their most powerful weapon to reduce to silence all dissident voices. Going outside of one's house is absolutely prohibited. People are only allowed to go out for judicial summons, and the only gatherings authorized are the ones willing to praise the party. Despite that situation, some people are still resisting and fighting for freedom, either by ideology or by instinct. Despite that, the inevitable is never really far, and it wears a red armband. The armed wing of the Caring Ones has become judge, jury, and executioner. However, there is one flaw in this whole system. One grain of sand within this modern desert grain of sand that might change this reality. The Grid Destined to live without any perspective for the future, the citizens have lost everything. But like a gift from the gods, the Grid appeared. We do not really know what it is or how it came to us, but people started to join this new movement, allowing them to greatly increase their physical abilities. Many businesses have emerged with dishonest people selling the wrong idea that the grid is only about physical enhancement. The grid is not something tangible nor something that we can capture and contain. The grid is not a weapon. For those connected, it gives them a chance to fully escape from the oppression.
Over time, the caring ones have increased their repression. Being scared of citizens gifted with new abilities, the party ordered a hunt for everybody that is related to this thing. However, the grid does not make one invulnerable, and in order to remain connected to it, it is more necessary to keep full control over one's mind. Even if some see it as a game, it is far from being one. Once mastered, the grid offers new perspectives. kids, we were all dreaming about living in peace and harmony. We were all hoping for a sane world, where mankind could stop living by their ego. In order to evolve, we must embrace our flaws. In order to move forward together, we need to solve the current issues, not create new ones. We must work together towards a better future for the generations to come. This world, no one has ever seen it because no one knows how to make it real. Before the grid, the world was losing hope. Unity ceased to exist to give way to a silent and deadly discord. Today, people take action. have to define the grid in one sentence. It is the perfect symbiosis between the mind and the body. Be aligned. Be focused on the environment. Find the grid. Transcend this reality.
The situation cannot last any longer. The grid calls everyone, but not everyone hears its call. Its signal is still too weak. For the time being, the people connected to the grid are only part of a small minority. However, rumors are being spread about a possibility to make the grid more accessible. According to the stories, its source needs to be found. It is said that the grid's source is far from civilization, in the middle of the driest desert of all, guarded by an army that has never been seen before. To find its exact location, an artifact is needed. This relic is kept locked and protected within the National Archives at the MPPD. Using the grid's power to retrieve this mystical object is not a complicated task, but the consequences will be devastating. The Master State will declare war on its own people. Now that the relic has been stolen, the beast is awakening. From now on, time is running out for those connected to the grid. They are now the main target of the Caring Ones.
away from us. The only way out is to reach for the grid. Go find its signal, be connected, and try to keep it up in this crazy world.